As early as 8 o'clock, there was a heavy military presence here at Wachiato sub-county headquarters. Heavy military artillery, officers and men of the Uganda People's Defense Forces on standby. A short distance away is a group seated comfortably, involved in casual chats. Among them are the three heads of the armed forces, the UPDF, Uganda Police Force, and the Uganda Prison Service in official attire. They are joined by the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, Chief Justice Benjamin Odoki, and a few others. They are here to witness a special function organized as part of the Heroes Day celebrations to pay tribute to over 700 Ugandans who lost their lives in the service of their country, resisting maladministration. After over two hours of waiting, President Yoweri Museveni makes his way to the same venue in his presidential motorcade, kick-starting the ceremonial activities planned for this venue in respect to the selfless citizens who put their country ahead of individual gains, a scenario not common in today's setup. Here, the president led the group in an event to recognize the contribution of these individuals with a national anthem and a song in honor of the fallen fighters. President Museveni then led the group of top guns in government to lay wreaths on the graves of the heroes. This group and the president later joined the local people at Butalango Town Council where he delivered his address to the nation. Here the tone was that of attack, of taking a swipe at his political opponents who he dismisses as enemies of peace. Speaking in Luganda, the President Museveni, who insisted no one can derail what he calls the peace that he ushered in, had specific words to ex-FTC leader Dr. Kiza Besije. <laughs> It also appears the president's war with the press is far from over as he accuses the local FM stations of masterminding the spread of what he calls falsehoods. Government, the, the government has forgotten Ruero. He's talking rubbish. He's not serious. But rubbish is like... Uh, is like dust. Mao Tung said, if you don't sweep the dust, the dust will not sweep itself. Painting a rosy picture of the state of affairs in the country, amid its growing opposition to certain actions by those in charge, the president insists the country is on the right path, only being sabotaged by leaders who he says act like dogs, who only go after bones and ignore gold. As part of the celebrations, over 700 were awarded medals for their contribution at both combat and non-combat fronts with ex-ministers Saida Bumba, Mike Mukula, Disaster Preparedness State Minister Musa Chero, and UPDF Political Commissioner Colonel Felix Kulaije taking home medals. As a tradition, many came forth to witness the celebration of the lives of heroes, men and women who dedicated their lives and some of them lost it in the service of their country. The question is when they look at the nation from wherever they are, do they appreciate that the struggle that they were engaged in was worth the sacrifice? This as questions emerge on the criteria of selecting the heroes. Sabit Joseph, Television.